So we have patterns, and we have textures, and we use these to create an image. In this case, it's our little puppy dog. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to Art 101. I'm excited to have you here today. Let's create some artwork. The element of design we will be focusing on is texture. An easy way to create texture is with a technique called texture rubbings. Grab your crayons and paper. Let's hunt for textures. that we have all of our nice textures, our rubbings that we did, now we can take these and use them in our drawings to uh, enhance them, make them more interesting. So first we need a drawing. And so let's clear this off for now. We'll bring these back later. And I'm gonna get myself a nice white piece of paper. It doesn't have to be white. You could use another color if you don't have white. So we've gone over drawing an object before, or a person or an animal. And so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, continue with that. And I'm just gonna start with my shapes. We're gonna have to add some patterns inside these shapes. There's an eye. A nose. There's a tongue. All right, let's see. And we got the body. Okay. So, the pupil of the eye. Okay, so now we can go back and we can kind of fine tune this a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go over it with a marker now. You could use a color pencil if you wanted to. You don't have to do a lot of detail because we're gonna be adding some of our textures, our rubbings into these. We'll be cutting them out and gluing them on. So don't worry about getting a lot of detail in here. 
because any detail that we want later on, we will add with a black marker or color pencil or crayon. side hair on the side of his all right so I did this earlier so I'm kind of going by similar but I kind of like this one a little bit better um, all right what do you think kind of a cute little dog there so now we're gonna bring back our patterns and we are going to apply some of these patterns into this space. Now, I like this yellow paper, and I think I'm going to use this yellow for the ears. So I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to basically do the same shape, approximately the same shape. And I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to cut this out. Now, when you use your pattern sheet, it's a good idea to, to you know find the area you want. Like if there's red, you go to the red section or green. But try to save paper by going to the outside area of your paper so you don't take it right from the middle. Um, and so you can kind of use as much of the paper as possible because there might be other areas that you want to use. So I'm going to be cutting this out. And I'm going to place it on here. And I think I'm going to do another one right over here. Now I'm going to kind of look at the shape here, and I'm just going to put in approximately the right shape. It might not be exactly, and that's okay. And this one I want a little red into the green, so I'm going to have a little red in there. And you can see these circle, these circle patterns that are kind of nice. All right, so I got this. And there we go. So there are my two ears that I've put in here. Now, I'm not gluing them down yet. I'm just kind of putting them down first. Now we have um, this section here, which is kind of like that. I think I'm going to use, let's see, what pattern would be good for this? Maybe some paper clips. Remember these paper clips? Maybe some of that. So let's go ahead and I'm going to do the general shape of what this looks like, and then I can cut it later to size. I like this section of paper clip, so I'm gonna cut a little bit in the middle here because the more interesting pattern is located there. And so I'm gonna put this here. Now let's see what I can do. So I need to make it a little bit more the size of this, so I'm gonna I cut this a little bit here. I think that's about right. Okay, so we have that. Now we need an eyeball to go on top of this. Let's see, what would be good? Maybe this blue? Okay, let's try this blue. Now, this blue already has like a circle in it. So maybe I can use that for the center of the eye. We'll do it twice. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and use black and just to kind of show you. You would just use pencil. I'm showing you what I'm going to be cutting out. All right, so we have this piece here. We have the ear that comes right there, and then we're going to have the eye that goes right there. Okay, can you kind of see what's the, the dog form in here? Now, we're going to add our marker again later on to, uh, to do final details. So now we, just, now we need to do another thing. Now, we, don't have to, we could keep it the same color green over here if we wanted to, or we could do a different color. Why don't we try maybe this blue? Well, we're going to have a blue eye, so maybe not. Maybe this red. Let's try this red for over 
for this side. I'll show you what that looks like, what I just did with this marker. Okay, can you see that? So I'm going to cut that out. Notice how I'm using my scissors. Um, a lot of times I'll, I'll keep my scissors straight and I turn the paper. See how I'm just twisting it and turning it? And if I twist the paper, I can control where I'm cutting. So that way I don't have to move my scissors. My scissors stay still. I just do little cuts and then I just twist the paper. All right, here's my little dog. Okay, remember the ear's gonna go on top of here. See our dog taking shape? It's like he's made up of lots of different textures. Okay, so now we need our tongue. I think of a red tongue. Um, let's see, what would be a good, here's our red. Maybe we, maybe we use some one of these. Uh, maybe this purple for our tongue. Even though it's purple, it's still on red paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and not my tongue. All right, so we put this in here. There we go. And um, now we just need to have this piece that's kind of like a center piece here. And I think I'm going to go back to my yellow to kind of tie in. Because sometimes it's nice to, if you have one color here, to incorporate it again somewhere else on your paper. So we're going to we're going to bring that yellow back over here. We're going to use this red shade, or excuse me, this green color. And I'm using basically this shape right here is kind of a triangular shape. Try to keep it about the same size. And I'm going to cut it out here. What other, I wonder what other animals you could make using this technique. You could do, you could create a lizard. Or like we said earlier, you could do a cat. Put that right there. Now we just need to have these areas and so we need one more color to choose um, definitely can repeat colors um, I like this how about we do this blue area that'll tie in the eyes a little bit Our shape that's basically our shapes now we're going to take this and we are going to glue these shapes on the paper and so we got to think of which ones are we going to glue first so we have to glue the ones that are towards the bottom or on the bottom we don't want to glue the things on top because there's some paper that need to go underneath so i'm going to start in reverse i'm going to start with these colors or these patterns here so i'm going to take this and my tongue off here and i'm going to get a glue stick just a regular glue stick here. And I'm going to start putting some glue on the back of these 
shapes of paper. So it's nice to have like a, either a new, like a scratch piece of paper or a newspaper or something like that to glue on. That way you can get all the way to the edge. Here, we're gonna put this right, right here. And that little piece here, I'm gonna take off there. Get it lined up as much as possible. Okay. All right, I like how this is working here. So now we're gonna take our, this side of his head right here, we're gonna glue that down. This is, this is, I'm excited about this. This is fun. All right. I hope you guys are having fun. Hope you can uh, watch this and create something different. And don't, you guys, don't feel like you have to draw exactly what I'm drawing. Now, I know sometimes it's, 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 it, it's comforting to be able to, to watch and draw and learn. And I, I am all for that. So if you want to start off and do this, but then don't let, don't let it stop there. I encourage you to, um, after you do it once or, 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 or create one like mine, go get some more texture patterns, some more rubbings, and then try to do one original, something original of your own, something that you're interested in. Maybe you like soccer and you want to do a big soccer ball like this, or maybe you like, um, maybe you enjoy birds and you want to create a bird that, uh, with this technique. Or, or maybe you just want to, maybe you're into mechanical things and you want to do a, an automobile or um, a car or a, you know, a bicycle or something like that, okay? So these are all things you can do with this technique and create something very interesting to show. You know, I, I appreciate everyone who has been emailing me and sending me photos of your artwork. Man, it's been encouraging to see what you all are coming up with and I just hope more of you do that and and uh, send me an email show me what you're what you're working on because uh when it's it's important for artists to share and, and and to to look at each other's artwork and to be encouraged by that patterns and we have textures and uh, and we use these to create an image in this case it's our little puppy dog so what we want to do now that we have the basic shapes is we want to use a marker or well, first let's clean up I think it's always nice to have a clean now look at all this that we have like I have enough patterns and textures that I can do another drawing so don't throw these away keep them and see what else you can make out, out of it. Because, you know, we could use a, do a whole other um, drawing with these. So definitely save those for, for another uh, project. And so here we go. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and redraw some of these. And remember, sometimes it's nice to have varied line thickness. So it's not all one thin line. So I'm going to put the, the little eye, uh, the pupil of the dog in there. Fill it in. Notice I'm leaving a little white spot for the reflection. Kind of gives your dog a little more character. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in some of the little tufts of hair that might be coming off of his little side area. All right. And we're going to outline with a, the line here. Sometimes the, if you're using the crayon from your rubbings, it will be a little harder to 
if you're using marker, if you're using like a Sharpie, then it'll, the oil-based markers can, uh, permanent markers can go over it pretty well. Um, you may find trouble going over it with a water-based marker, a water-soluble marker. So if that's the case, I would encourage you to use a black crayon and just use that. Um, this one's going dry, so I'm going to go on to my other one. Now notice like right here, see how there's a little bit of space there? That's okay. It's not a problem. You don't have to worry that, oh, I didn't fill in all that area. It's okay to have a little white area there. That's not a problem. And Filling in some of these areas here, making sure that there has some thickness. Go around our eye there. Let's put three little dots here for his like kind of his whisker area on each side. It'll kind of um, show repetition. I kind of also bring emphasis to the circle pattern here that we have on his face. These little dots kind of uh, repeat and kind of uh, show emphasis for that pattern. And so, uh, yeah, because we can see circles. Look how, look how many circles we have here. So we have the circles in this pattern. We have the circles for his whisker dots. We have the circles in the centers of his eye. So we have some repeating patterns there. I'm going to bring a basic outline around the outside. And I'm going to leave a little white area all the way around. It's not going to be able to go all the way there. So we probably won't be able to go all the way down. But that's okay. And what I'm going to do is we're, we're going to, I'm going to start cutting this out. Okay, so now uh, we have our, our have our textured dog, a little puppy, and we're gonna take that and we're gonna glue it on a piece of black construction paper, just uh, for presentation purposes, and then we could uh, put this on the wall, or enter it into an art show, or just enjoy it and uh, share it with others. So, let's go ahead and take our glue stick again, and put some glue on here. Now you could use just regular uh, Elmer's glue if that's all you have. Just be careful. You don't want to put too much where it's going to get your paper all soggy. But you want to make sure in both cases, instances that you get right to the edge so you don't want your paper curling up. And you don't need a lot in the middle. I just put like maybe a stripe here, a couple stripes in the middle here. I'm running out of glue. Okay, we take that, we turn it over and we center it the best we can. Right in the middle of that paper. And then we gently, if we wanna take a piece of uh, scratch paper, we can, so we don't get our drawing dirty, we can press down on the paper and then we know it's not gonna get our drawing, our artwork dirty, but it'll put the pressure we need on here. Looks like there might be a little bit of glue there, so I'm gonna erase that a little bit. And there we go. This is um, actually looks like texture. 
that are, uh, it's called implied, implied texture. We took rubbings from different actual textures and created uh, some implied textures. It makes it look like a texture that you could feel. So let's look at it again. Let's look closely at some of them. Do you remember where we got some of these patterns? So that was the steel grate on the side of a, a gate, right? And then you got that string. Remember the string we were able to get with our crayon to get that pattern? And this was the cement ground on the outside cement area. And uh, where else? Here are some circles from a template, those circle guides. And then uh, I think there's some other things here. I can't even remember. I bet you guys can remember. But uh, so start thinking about some textures that you could go out and get some interesting rubbings because yours are going to be different than mine. Don't go outside looking for the exact same, same things that I was able to find. You're going to have a all new and a, all new unique things around you that you can find to get texture rubbings from. And then you can apply it to a dog like this, or you could even better come up with another object or animal or shape or subject that you would like to create and put your textures into that. Now, the one thing I want to encourage you is to make sure you, uh, when you have a piece of paper, like a white piece of paper, make sure you fill up the whole area. Don't draw a little bitty dog in the center for two reasons. It's not going to be balanced, right? You're not going to have a balanced composition, right? You're going to have too much space around the outside and only a little drawing here. And the other reason is because you can't fit those. You're not going to be able to cut out and fit your textures patterns and glue them in. It'll be too small, too hard to do. So you want your drawing to be nice and big, maybe even touching the top, the sides, and the bottom. Make it nice and large. So then you'll have plenty of room to be able to put in your interesting texture patterns um, to uh, give your drawing a little more detail and make it a little more interesting. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, guys. I really do. Um, so much fun to work with you. And uh, please continue to email me and send me uh, photos of your artwork. I love seeing them. And uh, until next time, keep drawing. We'll see you.